Lee by the uh, Roma community here in Edmonton uh, to denounce the inhuman actions of the Ethiopian government uh, back home in Ethiopia that is uh, uh, severely persecuting the uh, majority uh, nation of that country that is Oromo and also uh, other uh, Ethiopian people are specifically targeting our people there and currently uh, the country is under the state mm. of emergency and the, uh, there is a killing of innocent civilians, uh, arbitrary arrest, uh, detention and again also uh, fleeing the country and uh, exiling. So uh, because of that, we are denouncing these inhuman actions of this uh, it, the dictator Ethiopian government. Uh, again, also, we call on the Canadian government uh, to uh, put pressure on the Ethiopian government to stop this uh, uh, violation of human rights in different ways. Uh, we have been rallying uh, for years here, uh, protesting the inhuman action of that government. Especially in the last year, we did two rallies. Uh, uh, that was uh, because of, again, also the human rights violation in that country due to land grabbing, uh, where uh, millions of farmers were displaced from their homeland and they uh, became homeless and families were disintegrated. And again, also, when uh, they are questing for their natural uh, and democratic right in that country, as a citizen of that country to, res to uh, get their constitutional rights respected, uh, the government is uh, taking inhuman action by assigning paramilitary uh, and again also action-oriented special police. And to give you a little bit of the background, uh, uh, you hear like, you know, Oromo, a big, uh, big majority, a big uh, population, but is marginalized. Why, why that happened? This happened because uh, partially uh, this is a, a, a kind of colony going on in that country. Um, about 100, 150 years ago, uh, what uh, everybody knows, the Abyssinian kingdom expanded and captured the, the, you know, the uh, neighboring uh, populations like Oromo and Somali and Sidama and all other uh, nationalities living uh, in the neighbor. Uh, so, because of that colony, this um, group is still in power since then. They are marginalizing, you know, the rest of the population. There's no democracy, there's no fairness, there's no, uh, like, uh, equality in the citizenry in, in that country. So, um, the, the people who are in the power, they are privileged. They want to keep that privilege forever. That's why they are abusing the people. That's why always, you know, use uh, torture and, and jail and, you know, well, all kind of uh, abuse. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to join you all here today. It's an honor to be able to come and, and share this time with you. First, I would like to uh, extend my my appreciation and my respect Thank you. to all of you. And certainly the issues of human rights are, are challenging. Issues of politics are challenging. I know for all of you, you've come here to build new lives here in the province of Alberta. And we welcome you. We're very happy to have you here. Our province is built on the strength of its diversity and of in bringing new people and new perspectives from around the world. And I appreciate so much that you have come to be part of our communities here in Alberta. But it's also incredibly important that we remember our roots and we remember where we came from. And so I appreciate that you all came here on a very cold day in the afternoon to remember your brothers and sisters in Ethiopia, to stand with them and to acknowledge the challenges that they face. And I stand here with you today to recognize those challenges as well. And certainly for myself, one of the reasons that I chose to run to become an MLA here in Alberta is because I believe that government should be for the people, should protect the people, and should be accessible to the people. That we need to defend democracy and the opportunity for people to participate and have their voices heard. And I hear you when you say that you feel your brothers and your sisters back home in Ethiopia do not have that opportunity. 
and are not enjoying the protection of their government, but instead are suffering at its hands. So I stand here today to support you in supporting your brothers and sisters, in remembering them and recognizing them. I'm happy to do what I can in whatever way I can to support your community here in Alberta, to work with you, to ensure that your families and your community are able to enjoy good lives and thrive here with us. And then also to stand with you as you remember those who are not able to be here with you, but who remain at home and face those challenges there. So, I salute you Thank for remembering you. your Thank brothers you. and sisters. Thank you. For continuing to feel the pain of those you know and those you love and even those who you may not know who are facing these challenging circumstances. And I salute you in your courage in continuing to fight for them. Thank you for this opportunity to join you here today. Thanks. Thank you.